Stock market recap. Today is Wednesday, August 21st, 2024. So I posted a video yesterday saying it's okay to do nothing. And this is why, guys, we got a lot of back and forth, back and forth today. For example, with NVIDIA, right? We saw where it looked like it was going to break out. It did a fake out and then it sold off even harder and then it looked like it was going to crack and then it bounced back and then it cracked again and it ended up doing okay on the day. But again, there's going to be a war right now between bulls and bears, okay, after a stellar rally. And that's why I was saying it's okay if you don't do anything right now, okay? But overall, just know that we worked off overbought levels slightly. So that's a good sign today with all the flim flam we got, okay? And then know that volume is also lighter on or this part of the year, this next two weeks leading up to Labor Day weekend is seasonally the weakest volume uh, weeks in, during the year because people are still gone for the summer. But things will start to pick up in September, so I won't get caught up too much with volume because that's just how it is later in August, okay, or around this time. And then some stocks that are moving today. So number one, I want to talk about Snowflake. So this one shit the bed because their CEO on the conference call just did not sound into it. He did not sound passionate and didn't really help their situation. The stock just continued to bleed out, even though their numbers weren't that bad. They had a $2.5 billion share repurchase authorization, an additional $2.5 billion, and they did slightly raise guidance. So there were some positives, but the problem is they're still losing a lot of money on a gap basis, and they're, still their revenue growth is still decelerating Okay, overall. So those are the issues. So it's up to you. It could bounce around this level. It's around $123, you know, an 80 cents. Last time I checked, you really want to make sure if you're playing it to put a tight stop loss in, you know, at $122.99 or whatever you want to put it at if you're going to try to play Snowflake. And just know it's a very expensive stock. And so it's a risky one for sure. So you don't have to play it if you don't want, especially with the data coming out tomorrow. We don't know how that's going to be. And then also Friday, you know, with Powell speaking. So that's why a lot of people aren't doing too much with these high risk names, but they are putting their money. Investors are putting money in the dividend stocks. We're seeing a lot of dividend stocks were actually up today. IBM broke out to new all time highs. So that was one I recommended a long time ago with that has a solid like 5% dividend last time I checked. Also some other names that were moving uh, service now is at all time highs. Uh, Intuit all time highs. Now Intuit does have earnings coming up the 22nd, which I think is tomorrow. Yep. So I would hold off. I don't buy anything that's at all-time highs. That's just me personally because I don't see a lot of upside, but you never know, okay? And then also Adobe is doing well. Oracle has been doing well, okay? And the interest rate sensitive stocks we know have been doing well. These are the ones I've been preaching, guys. Obviously, Upstart is looking really solid right now, guys. It you know broke out above resistance, came back, retested, and now it looks like it could go again, but it's all going to come down to the data, as we know. So if initial jobless claims can come in you know, slightly weaker than expected or even in line, okay, and these other reports do the same, that'll be a good start. And then if Powell says anything, obviously, about an interest rate cut happening, if he confirms it, I mean, we know it's going to shoot up huge. But if he just comes across dovish and hinting at that's going to happen, that still should be good enough to get upstart stock to the next level, which would be $45 a share, okay? So I always say try to catch a pullback, right? We did get a pullback again today where it went down around 38s, right? And so you could have tried to buy there. But at this point, like I said, when it's doubled, I know it's hard, right, to buy. You don't want to buy a lot up at these levels still, in my opinion, okay? But we'll see what the data shows tomorrow. And then, like I said, what Powell says, once he confirms an interest rate cut, this stock will be higher. And so let's hope that happens and maybe... She could get back up to 50 bucks a share eventually, okay? But one step at a time. So the next price target I have for Upstart is 45 bucks.